This is the Independent Ghana, former Assistant Commissioner of Police, ACP, Benjamin Agozo, who has been acquitted and discharged over an alleged coup plot, has shared the harrowing conditions he endured during his detention by the National Investigations Bureau, NIB. After three years of investigation and court appearances, following the initiation of charges including conspiracy to high treason, abetment to high treason, and high treason in April 2021, Benjamin Agozo, Colonel Gameli, and another junior military officer, Corporal Said Wapubakar, were acquitted, whereas six others have been found guilty of conspiracy to commit high treason and are due for execution by hanging. The court's verdict was read on January 24, 2024. Now breaking his silence after his release, Mr. Agozo has recounted the inhuman conditions he claims to have faced under the hands of the NIB. In an interview on Sister Station Joy News, he made mention of factors such as uncertainty about the time, lack of external information, and difficulties in receiving visitors. According to him, it often takes six to seven hours to receive visitors, compelling relatives and loved ones to abandon their attempts. In addition, Mr. Agozo revealed that most times, lawyers are prevented from seeing their clients and are not allowed into the interrogation rooms. He lies about suspects confessing to crimes they are being accused of. Due process. Do you know the kind of due process that is taking its course in DNI? Do you know the kind of subculture that they are practicing there? Like are you aware that it is difficult for lawyers to get access to their uh, clients over there? Are you aware that they most of the time prevents, prevent uh, lawyers from seeing their clients? Are you aware that they don't allow lawyers into their interrogation rooms? And that they do their own interrogation and come out to say that the person confessed that? Now Mr. Benjamin Agozo is calling for a more transparent and accountable system, urging a re-evaluation of the subcultures within the police service and other security agencies. Meanwhile, in a related event, former General Secretary of the Convention's People's Party, CPP, Nanaya Jantua, has opposed the hanging of six individuals, Donya Kafui, Bright Alan Debra Ofosu, Johannes Zippi, Warrant Officer Class 2, Esther Sande Queen, Lance Corporal Ali Solomon and Corporal Sylvester Akanpewon as penalty for high treason. Madame Yajantua argued that the country must find other forms of the death penalty such as an electric chair or a lethal injection rather than death by hanging. That will be all for now. Thanks for your time. I'm Andy Odbamitete. Do well to subscribe to this platform for more updates and for more news, log on to our website tigpost.co.